At Louise Nevelson Plaza, participants in the Women's History Bike Tour learned about the sculptor who led the feminist art movement by creating these dark, monumental, and totem-like pieces. I passed by there so many times and never really stopped to take a look at it. Next stop on the Women's History Bike Tour, this small Marie Curie plaque, which has been hidden in the shadow of City Hall since 1934. You have Marie Curie, who's won two Nobel Prizes, and all she has is a small plaque um, in City Hall Park. So it's really important to go look at those and uh, recognize those women. In Central Park, the Women's History Bike Tour leader, Brianna Johnson, described the Angel of the Water sculpture at Bethesda Fountain, designed by Emma Stebbins back in 1868. Emma Stebbins um, dedicated this. Um, she was one of the first female... Um, sculptors to commission a major work in Central Park. She designed it to commemorate the opening of the Croton Aqueduct. Um, before this aqueduct was open, the water in the city was often impure and led to a lot of illness. By the time the bike tour ended, cyclists had seen the statue of Eleanor Roosevelt at 72nd Street and Riverside Park and a Union Square plaque about the 146 women's lives lost in the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire of 1911. Seeing like spots where there's just a little mention if you know to look, but not a lot of fanfare. I just started picking up biking around New York City and I just thought it was a great way to like, you know, learn history as well as like do something that I enjoy doing daily, which is biking. This Women's History Bike Tour was free to members of Bike New York as they prepare for the Five Borough Bike Tour in May. From Lower Manhattan, McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.